Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys. It is time for a Barcelona news roundup and on the agenda today we are going to have a big update on our search for a centre back which could be a loan deal that could be finalised in the coming week or so. A lot of talk on that in the Spanish media this morning. We're also going to have an update on the Brazilian Malcolm and his future at the club as well as the very latest on the stories linking us with PSG's Adrian Rabio with big reports last night that said deal is a Agreed. Is that the case? We're going to be looking at all that and some more. Let's do this. But first of all, we will start with the greatest, that is Lionel Messi, and I'll never get tired of talking about Messi here, as you know, and yesterday he collected his fifth Golden Boot Award, which is now a record. No player in history has received five Golden Boot Awards for scoring the most goals, of course, during a season, and it's always nice to hear Messi speak. He was speaking yesterday after collecting the award. He had all the awards set out in front of him. It was a fantastic sight indeed, and he was modest as always. That's the thing about Messi. He is so good, he is so talented, but he is one of the most humble guys in football, no doubt about it. He said basically that at the start of his career, he could have never ever imagined going on to receive these kind of awards. And he actually said, I never set out for this. I never set out thinking, I want to win that award, I want to win that award. He said, all I wanted to do was just become a professional footballer because I love playing football. And that is Messi in a nutshell. And as always, he's always one to speak very highly, glowing of his teammates at Barcelona. He dedicated this award to his teammates at Barca. He said, I'm at the best team in the world and I play with the best players in each position. That all makes this easier. It's down to them. Very, very humble indeed. And finally, Messi was asked about Monday's Champions League draw with Barcelona, of course, drew Leon. He said, Leon will be a complicated team to face. They did very, very well against Manchester City in the group stage and it's going to be very, very tough. And you can see there, Messi not taking taking Leon lightly and that is exactly the kind of approach we require if Messi isn't taking them lightly if Messi is focused everybody needs to be on the same wavelength but overall great to see him yesterday picking up another award one of course that he massively deserved but now on to the future of Malcolm very briefly and according to reports in the Spanish media over the past few days there have been several approaches being made for Malcolm by several Chinese clubs in the Chinese Super League now Malcolm of course are in the final stages right now of his recovery from the ankle sprain that he suffered in the Copa del Rey match at the Camp Nou against Cultural Leonesa a few weeks ago and he hasn't really received much game time since he's only hasn't really seen eye to eye with Ernesto Valverde he hasn't really nailed down a spot in the team yet since signing from Bordeaux in the summer for 41 million euros and AS say there has been bids up to 65 million euros for the Brazilian forward from the Chinese Super League and whilst Rack 1 say that no official bid has been lodged with Barcelona as of yet, they also say there is genuine interest from Chinese clubs and in particular from Guangzhou Evergrande, the same club of course that is set to pay 50 million euros to sign Paulinho permanently in the coming summer. Summer. So big, big offers being lined up for Malcolm. I don't think he's going to be tempted by that. And I don't think the club are either. I think we signed him. He's a young player. He's developing. He needs more game time. He needs more time on the pitch. But ultimately, Malcolm wants to succeed here. And I'm sure he's going to try and do that. But now we'll move on to the reports surrounding Adrian Rabiot, of course, the PSG midfielder, centre midfield player, 23 years old. And we have been linked with Rabiot now, not just in the last few weeks, but I would say probably for the past year from PSG it's absolutely clear that we do have an interest in him. That much is concrete. Barcelona have been tracking him. They've been talking with his representatives. They do essentially want to sign Adrian Rabiot if they possibly can. And on the 30th of June 2019, Adrian Rabiot's contract expires. He will then be able to sign for any club on a free transfer. And he'll actually be able to agree that move to another club in January ahead of completing it in the summer then when his contract expires. And just a few days ago, we heard for the very first time official confirmation from Paris Saint-Germain that Rabiot indeed will not sign a new deal. Because up until now, it's been speculation. We didn't know if he was trying to hold out for more money, if he was eventually going to sign one, 
or if he wasn't going to sign a new deal. And the sporting director, Henrique, he confirmed it's not going to happen. He said the player has informed me he is not signing a new deal at PSG. He wants to leave for free at the end of the season. And reports in the French media suggest that due to that, PSG very, very angry. And they're actually now going to bench him for the rest of the season. He's not going to play any football. If he's going to leave for free, if he's not going to sign a new deal, he's not leaving in January. They're not going to allow that. What they're going to do is bench him for the rest of the season. They don't need the money. They don't care about the money. All they want to do is punish Rabiot. And yesterday, Le Parisien, a source in Paris, came out and said, a deal is done. Barcelona have agreed a contract with Adrian Rabio. He will sign in the summer for free. Everything right now is finalised and ready to go. And everybody was like, wow, are we going to sign Rabio? Because a lot of people do not want this move. And I'm going to come on to my personal opinion in just a moment. But obviously this is a big, big deal because Rabio isn't going to sign a new deal. So at that point, all you need to do is agree terms with a player. And Le Parisien, they said it was done. But I want to bring you the reports from all the different sources on this because I don't just want to take one and then think that everything is done because I personally believe that everything right now is not finalised as it was actually reported in the French media. MD go with the headline of Rabio almost done on their cover this morning. They say that it's not quite so concrete as it's being portrayed in the French media but everything is on track to potentially being agreed for a move in the summer whereas Rack 1 they are a lot lot further away than these two sources. They say actually the deal is not agreed Everything right now regarding Rabio is very calm. There's no talks. There's nothing imminent. It has not quite happened right now with regard to Adrian Rabio and Cat Radio, who are a very, very reliable source within Barcelona. They say the rumor regarding the agreement with Rabio is fake, but there is interest from Barcelona. We are interested, but nothing right now has been agreed, and it's impossible to sign in from PSG in January. And the best take for me comes from Cope. They say the following, and I think this is very, very significant, and might actually be what happened with regard to that report from France. They say that Barcelona themselves, within the club, they have denied any agreement with Rabio right now, and the club Barcelona actually believe that it's a leak to the media from PSG themselves. They think that PSG have leaked to the media that Barca have already agreed a deal in order to protect their own image with their fans after they were not able to agree a new contract with the player. It's almost as though PSG wanted to seem as though Rabiot is already looking elsewhere, paint him as the bad guy when in fact they couldn't negotiate a new deal with this key player. And that's why PSG have leaked the news that Barca have agreed the deal, which they say is not true. So very, very contrasting reports there. And just on Rabio, like I say, my personal opinion, whilst he is a very promising talent, he's shown that over the past few years, he's a good midfield player. I think he's quite a solid all-round player. I don't think he's exceptional, really, in any area. I think he's quite good all-round, but I would describe him mostly as a decent, promising centre midfielder. And I think, obviously, on a free transfer, it's a decent deal. But at the same time, his wages are going to be really, really high, and he is going to have a massive signing on fee, no doubt about that. But it's more the fact of this. Our midfield options are growing and growing and growing. And we can't just bring in players now who are going to hamper the development of our young stars and our young talent. You think of Ricky Pooch, you think of Carlos Alenia, you think of Arthur in that midfield. And then there's talk of Frankie de Jong being signed in the summer, potentially. If you add Rabio into that mix, something has to give. You cannot have them all, you cannot develop them all. It simply won't happen. So you You've got to ask yourself, if by signing Rabio, you're going to be hampering the minutes of those players, if by signing Rabio, we're not going to be able to sign Frankie de Jong, I think you've got to be really, really careful with what route you go down. You've got to be careful who you sign, assess all of your options before you jump into something like this. Do we really, really want Rabio? Do we really, really need Rabio? I'm honestly not sure. The players that I mentioned, I'd rather see them grow. I'd rather see somebody at the profile of Frankie de Jong if we are going to bring somebody in. Rabio for me, just doesn't really scream out fantastic talent. He's not somebody who I would go above and beyond to sign on massive wages and a big signing on fee. So for me, 
I'm really, really not sure about this one. But finally, guys, now on to our search for a centre-back, which has been very, very vocal this morning in Rack 1 and Cat Radio, and they actually say we're targeting a loan move for six months for a central defender with experience and potentially a man from La Liga. The man mentioned this morning is none other than Valencia's Jason Murillo, the Colombian centre-back, 26 years old. He is currently out of favour at Valencia with Marcelino, the coach. He's not been playing this season only one La Liga appearance, one Champions League appearance, and one Copa del Rey appearance to his name. And potentially, the six-foot central defender, a strong player, pretty athletic. He spent most of his career in La Liga across a few different clubs, as well as in the Serie A, where the longest period of his career came at Inter Milan before he joined Valencia back in 2017. And according to Cat Radio and Rack One, Maria right now is being talked about as that loan signing. He wasn't in Valencia trading this morning, and developments and rumours are spreading as we speak. Is Maria the man we're going to bring in for a bit of depth, a bit of cover at centre-back? It's possible. A loan deal wouldn't be the end of the world and I think actually could be smart business because then at the end of it you don't have him still on the books. You can go, you can get your cover and at the end of that they go back to their old club off the wage bill, no transfer fee and then you can go and sign somebody like Delict if you need to. That could be a good strategic option. So that is basically the news from today's roundup guys. Thank you as always for joining me if you do have any more thoughts please do let me know in the comments down below and of course let me know your thoughts on everything we have discussed in this video thank you very much as always for joining me i'll be back very soon as soon as there's any more news to break but until then as always vesca el barca Ooh.